The sixth cheat, let's say you're shading something like this and you're trying to get a nice sharp transition from this detail to that detail. Sure, you could scale down the brush size and paint it in, but a smarter way to go about it would be to just select the area that you want to paint and then use the soft brush to get a smooth gradient. You might already do this, but I think this one's important to mention just in case you don't. Pairing the selection tool with a brush, any brush actually, is a much better way to paint if you're looking to get clean results instead of muddy results. 